Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting me to speak today at this very important event. My name is Mark Day and I'm the Green Party of Ontario candidate for Toronto Centre, Federal Green Leader and MP for Saanich Gulf Islands, Elizabeth May, couldn't join us today. However, she did attend the rally for a free Tibet at the legislature in Victoria, BC yesterday. You have our support as the Green Party joins you in observing the 54th Tibetan Uprising Day. As a result of the Chinese occupation, more than one million Tibetans have died. Tibetans are now a minority in their own country. They are imprisoned and routinely tortured for their religious practices and resistance to the Chinese occupation. Thousands of monasteries have been looted and demolished, and in recent years, more than 100 Tibetans have resorted to self-immolation to protest the Chinese occupation, as we see demonstrated before us here today. But the situation in Tibet is not only a humanitarian crisis, it is also an environmental crisis. The Tibetan plateau ecosystem, as well as wildlife and forests, have been devastated for Chinese profit. This plateau is the largest and highest plateau in the world. It sustains a unique, yet fragile, high altitude ecosystem. Human impact is now taking an unprecedented, devastating toll on natural resources, wildlife, forests, and rivers are at a point where they may never recover. Clear cutting threatens the habitat of the rare giant panda, the golden monkey, and over 5,000 plant species unique to the planet. This widespread deforestation has life-threatening consequences for the hundreds of millions of people who live in the floodplains of the major rivers of Southeast Asia. Tibet has also been used as a site for the production of nuclear weapons and disposal of nuclear waste. China's nuclear weapons were first stationed in northern Tibet in 1972. Nuclear waste from a nearby research facility in the area is suspected to have been dumped on the nearby plains where nomads have suffered illness and death from rare and unusual diseases. Diseases that are consistent with radiation sickness. As part of the Foreign Affairs Ministry, the newly created Office of Religious Freedom has a mandate to, quote, fulfill the Government of Canada's pledge to speak out and to protect and promote religious freedom around the world, end quote. In fact, their website states, the office will be an important vehicle through which Canada can advance fundamental Canadian values, including freedom, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law worldwide. His Holiness the Dalai Lama has said, whether one believes in a religion or not, and whether one believes in rebirth or not, there isn't anyone who doesn't appreciate kindness and compassion. So on this important day, I call on Minister Baird and Canada's Ambassador for Religious Freedom, Dr. Andrew Bennett, to demonstrate Canadian kindness and compassion and seriously investigate the humanitarian atrocities committed in Tibet. Thank you.